Thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel today. My name is David. Today's tutorial is going to be on this Chucky inspired boy glam. If you'd like to see how I created this look, then please keep on watching. All right, dolls, to start this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and block my right eyebrow. I'm going to be putting some prosthetics over it. I'm going to be using the Purple Elmer's glue stick today. I have done this in a tutorial in the past. First, I'm going to use some rubbing alcohol on a cotton pad here just to dehydrate the area so the glue sticks down nicely. I definitely find that the smaller Elmer's glue sticks really help to fit into the curvature of your brow bone a little bit better, so if you can find those ones, pick those ones up. Now that I've let that dry, I'm just going to go ahead and coat this back and forth with the Elmer's glue stick, then I'm going to comb it up, do about three or four layers, and then powder it down. I'm going to use the corner of the cotton pad just to clean up around those edges. We'll let this layer dry. By cleaning up the edges like this, you're really tapering the edges of the glue, so you're getting a really seamless blend into your skin. I have a blow dryer handy. I'm just going to use this on a low flow on low heat and just dry this down. We're going to do a second layer of glue. All right, I'm going to do one last layer of the purple Elmer's glue stick, then I'm going to set it with my Ben Nye Fair Translucent Powder, really press it into my skin, and then give that a little bit to set. Then we will move into the prosthetics. So I find if you press and hold, press and hold, press and hold, you get the breast bow block. You get the breast bow block. You get the breast... You get the best brow block. All right, as you can see, I got a really nice kind of tapered seamless blend where the glue is. I'm going to let this dry for another minute, then I'm going to move on to these prosthetics. To start to create these gashes that Chucky has on his face, I'm going to be using these Tinsley 3D transfers. They're kind of a easy way to go about prosthetics. They basically go on like a tattoo. You stick them onto your face, then use a cloth and kind of wet it on. You peel it off and then you have a nice kind of gash or wound. I'll leave, of course, in the description box down below where you can pick these up. Basically what they are are tattoo prosthetics. These ones look as though the skin has been stapled back together. So I thought that'd be really cool to kind of stick them all over my face and kind of recreate the gashes that Chucky had all over his face. This piece I'm going to place just over my right eye. Then I'm going to have another piece kind of coming over my top lip. And then I'm going to have another piece coming down from my bottom lip. Alright, so after I have dampened that with a cloth, basically you can just kind of peel this off and you have a nice little prosthetic. Now all the edges, you can actually just take your wet cloth and just go ahead and pat those all down and they blend in really nicely. Alright, so next piece that I have here, I'm going to kind of line up with that one and then actually bring that one right into my lip. Next one I'll bring right underneath my lip and then it should look like I have a big kind of gash down my face. In a dream right, I want to call you, a kind of feel that I can't name, I can't name. All right, for this last bottom piece, I'm just gonna place this up and line it up with that last scar there, and then we will move on to some foundation. All right, to create this really porcelain doll-like skin, I'm gonna be using the Infallible Pro Glow from L'Oreal and the Infallible Total Cover from L'Oreal. I'll leave my shades in the description box down below. I'm gonna mix these about half and half on a little plate that I have here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and blend everything with my Morphe M439. All right, now that I have that blended out, I'm gonna use some powder to set everything. All right, to fill in my left eyebrow, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Blonde. All right, next to make my eyebrows a little bit more auburn, I'll be working with the Morphe 35OM palette. I'm going to use this shade right here. 
rake before I start working any more around my eyes. I'm gonna go pop in some contacts. These are the primal lenses in the style Chucky, go figure. Next, I'll be working with this lighter red color from Cinema Secrets. This is just a really nice cream color to work with. I'm gonna start to map out where the cutout of my eye will be. Then I'm gonna start to fill it in with some wound filler. After that, I'm gonna go in and touch up all these wounds with the wound filler that I have. Then I'm gonna contour my face and boy glam this up a little bit. Then I'll put on my outfit and I'll be Chucky. Alright, I made those scars look a little bit more believable using my Cinema Secrets Wound Filler Palette. I contoured my face using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. Now I'm going to pop on some lashes and boy glam this up a little bit more, then we will finish off the look. I'm going to use my NYX Doll Eye Mascara. Okay, I'm going to keep it pretty simple on the glam other than these eyelashes. I actually picked these lashes up at Winners, so good luck finding them. To line my lips today, I'm going to use Max Boldly Bare Lip Pencil. Then to fill that in, I'm going to use Maybelline's Beige Babe Matte Lipstick. Right to make my hair auburn. Of course, I've used this in a ton of my tutorials. This is the Rita Hazan Root Concealer Hairspray in the shade Auburn. I'm going to spray this on my hair, make my hair look auburn. I'll put on my look, then I will come back and I'll be Chucky. All right, dolls, that sums it up for this Chucky-inspired makeup tutorial. I really wanted to go for some boy glam slash Chucky, so I hope you all enjoyed watching today. I picked up this costume at the costume shop here in Calgary. This is actually the official and original from the second movie, so Child's Play 2. I thought that was really cool. Thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel today. My name is David and I will see you all next week. Bye dolls.